of 30 kids, one kid in every classroom is going to have amblyopia. Okay. Put it on your eye and you walk around and you see what life is like wearing cash. Because you have to make it personal to understand what it is we're expecting of our patients and the parents of our patients. One of the most common side effects of occlusion is the psychosocial impact. That is the stigma of that child wearing a patch in public and around their peers. Bullying is a common, bullying and teasing is a common issue. Patients aren't willing to do what we're asking them to do. So therefore, based on those two principles, with the thought that the critical period has blocked treatment, we're faced with a condition that the autonomic community oftentimes looks at as just saying, oh well, we did our best. But in reality, that is not the case. In fact, in year 2013, you think there is a better way. Really? diagnosed me with amblyopia, hmm. wore a patch over my right eye, and I remember hating it. Um, I wore it over my glasses, and I started looking under my glasses because I wanted to be able to see. <laughs> <laughs> so they asked you to wear a patch, and what did you do then? When didn't you, wear it. You just didn't wear your patch? At home, maybe like an hour a day, and I hated it, and I just took it off. You just took it off? Yeah. How do you tell somebody, how do you tell a parent what their child is going to see in terms of 3D or depth perception if that child has never had that before? It felt equal. Like I said, um, I felt like a centered person because I'm right-handed, kid with my right foot, and I was right-eyed, so I felt like my body was split in half and I was very like right-sided. And when I have two eyes now, I feel like I'm like a centered person and I can like see with both my eyes binocularly. How about use of lenses and prisms? Where does lenses and prisms fit into the therapy process? They're some of your most important tools in your toolbox, your vision therapy toolbox. We're looking at a condition that responds, and if it does respond, and I want to emphasize, I'm not saying to you today that patching or occlusion therapy is wrong. I'm not saying that. But what we're saying is that binocular vision therapy is more right. As optometrists, your future, your patient's future, depend on you because life takes vision. Any questions?